This tragedy represents a seminal event in the relations between Barbados and Cuba and forever established a special bond and identity between our two peoples. Therefore, it is our honor once again to address you here this morning on behalf of the government of Barbados as we come together in unison to remember the lies and loss and condemn the wicked act that brought it about. Though we are gathered here to remember specifically the 73 souls that perished just off these shores, we also acknowledge and identify with the many other innocent lives that are lost daily around the world. We witness the destruction caused by the many acts of terrorism against people everywhere. As citizens of the world and as peace-loving people, we must continue to demonstrate our abhorrence of these events and strive for good and peace. We must never waver in our respect for human rights and our democratic principles. We remain resolute in our stance against the evil of terrorism. As Barbados celebrates our 50th anniversary of nationhood, the Cubana tragedy remains the first and only terrorist act that has marred our shores. We will work to ensure that it remains the only one. We also commit to work with our local, regional, and global partners to achieve eventual elimination of these types of acts. So even though the odds are sometimes stacked against us and injustice appears to be a mountain too high to climb, let us move with optimism and hope that as we pursue what is right, what is just, and what is good, the future of our children and our world will be one of exemplary conduct, love of humanity, and the world where peace, security, and mutual respect reign.